I'm Melvin, I'm 12 years old, and how was life in the Mayflower? Good morning, um, Eleanor Billington is my name. Welcome again. We, sailing on the Mayflower, you mean? Well, it's not something I would recommend to anyone, but if you have to get to some place more civilized than this, it's the only way you'll do it. Um, well, the voyage, once we were finally successful in leaving, lasted two months, I think. Um, we were delayed in leaving and so later in arriving than we ended up being later in arriving than we had planned. Oh, it was very tedious, that's what I remember the most. I was sick in the beginning, but I got over it um, afterwards. We had nothing to do to occupy our time. There was... Um, we didn't even do our own cooking. There was a cook to do that for us. And so we just had to stay on the oil up deck, in between the decks, for much of the time. And sometimes it was stormy, and, and the children had nothing to do. It was, it was very tiresome. Mm. All in all, it was not something I would recommend. I'm Kathleen Curtin, and I'm the historian here at Plymouth Plantation, and welcome. That's a great question. I think the thing to remember is that um, none of the people who traveled on board Mayflower, I should say very few of them, had ever been on board a, a ship that traveled that long before. Uh, a number of people had traveled certainly from England to Holland before, um, but this voyage was something else. This uh, lasted two months in the traveling. It was, uh, the crossing was done in the, the, the fall, the autumn, uh, and as you know, there tend to be a lot of stores in the, storms in the Atlantic at that time. Um, conditions were very crowded and cramped. A lot of the people didn't know each other well either, so if you can imagine 102 people crammed into a small space with their animals and their possessions, um, and people who were probably pretty bored. Um, Englishmen lived very active lives, they worked a lot of the time, and this was an extraordinary circumstance, and uh, I, I can only imagine it was uh, just the, the most difficult of circumstances. They're leaving their home and they're going to a new place as well, and a, a place that was uh, a place they didn't know very much about the truth be told. They had some expectations, but um, there was probably a lot of prayer happening on board the ship, whether they were members of the Church of England or members of the Reformed Church.